Hello everyone! Today I wanted to make a quick video about armature since I use this technique for my Chang e clay figure. I'll link it in the info card and description box if you want to check that out. First of all, I am by no means an expert in armatures but I want to share what I use and what works for me. If you're new to claying and want to focus on making figures, especially big ones, it's very important to learn about armatures because it basically provides structure and stability for your figures, especially if you're using a malleable medium, which in my case is cold porcelain. For my figures, I use aluminum foil and aluminum wire since those two things don't rust or tarnish even when in contact with cold porcelain. I also use styropore and wood for the base. You can definitely experiment with other materials, just make sure to do your research and check if it will work well with air dry clay or whatever medium you are using. Now as you can see in this video, I started with a drawing of the moon's outline, which I prepared beforehand. I'm using the outline as my guide to measure and shape the aluminum foil. Make sure to twist the foil as much as you can. This is a very crucial step because you want this to be really tight and not become loose as you're adding the succeeding layers, especially the clay. Oh yeah, and before I forget, it's best to cover the foil with masking tape first before adding a layer of clay. But when I was making this moon, I ran out of stock. So I'll just insert a sample photo here of what I usually do. After twisting the foil into the shape that I want, I'm covering it with this blue clay, which is actually just recycled clay. I'm begging you to please, please do not throw out your scrap clay even if it's already cured because you can still reuse it. Just add distilled water to it, leave it for a couple of hours, and you've got usable clay again. Even though I didn't use masking tape at the time, I was confident that I twisted the foil really tightly so I went ahead and added this layer of clay. My only mistake when making this was forgetting to pick a neutral or lighter color from my scrap clays because the project I'm making is a white moon. I was so afraid that the blue dye might bleed onto the final layer but I fixed that easily by adding pieces of white clay on the parts that weren't 100% smooth so I used a wet wipe and rubbing alcohol to make it even smoother. And that's it! We're done with the armature! If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them to the best of my knowledge. In the final half of this video, I'm just going to carry on with making Chang Is Moon and finally cover everything with the glow-in-the-dark white sheet of clay. The moon was already cured the next day, so I used a pencil to draw the carvings on it. And finally, I added gold clay to the outline details. This isn't really that hard, just time-consuming, especially on the small designs. But there is no secret technique here, it's just like painting but instead of brush and paint, I'm using a needle tool and gold clay. That's it for this video. I really hope you learned something. If you did, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. And again, if you want to see how I made Chang'e, check the info card or description box below. Also, let me know what you would like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss any of my uploads. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!